Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Saints Raven here, bringing you a black and white Wi Fi banner for you guys today. Yes, indeed. Uh, this one, as you can see here, is against some random scrub using a Sun Salt team. This is off of like the Pokemon Wi Fi chat. I don't know why. And, uh, yeah. So, as you can see here, new team on my behalf Firewater Grass Core, Staraptor, Mammoth Swine, Choice Banded, and Choice Specs, uh, Jolteon. Uh, again, kind of more of an adhesive team. Uh, three choicers and then three leftovers. I don't know. Not three leftovers, but as you can see here, again, like I said, uh, Sunstall versus that. Um, as you can see, my opponent is going to be leading off with his Nine Tails, which puts me into a position where, one, I've got my Staraptor. I know that I can deal ma uh, super much damage to anything that he wants to go out into. Um, not really what he wants to go out to, but as far as I see it, Staraptor can deal a lot of damage to most of his Pokemon, barring the uh, Chansey and um, Gliscorp. But here I predict him to switch out, not wanting to take a Brave Bird, and I'm going to go straight for the U-turn, go out into my Mammal Swine, for whom will just shit on its day with a Icicle Crash. So with that being said, um, I mean, here's the thing. You're going to see that, obviously, yeah, I'm going out to my Mammal Swine here. Ice, stab Ice move coming. Uh, what the hell is he expecting? I don't understand why he stayed in here, unless he was like, Oh, I have this, I have the Fire Fang, you know? Uh, like, unless he was, like, physical. Uh, unless he was physical. Unless he was, like, offensive, which then you'd be running max speed or something, and I'd be able to outspeed him. Also, fun fact, that crit did over 1,000 damage. Yeah. Overkill. Um, he's gonna go out to his Ninetales, knowing that I'm probably choiced in some matter, and I'm just like, well, shit, GTFO. Um, I go out to my Heatran, because one, the obvious uh, fire move is obvious, and I'm going to absorb the shit out of it. So, that being said, flash fire go. I'm going to get that nice 1.5 boost to my stab. In comes a Chansey, and I'm like, awesome, Chansey, yippee. Uh, I did get my Stealth Rocks up, which is always nice to have, uh, especially with things like uh, Ninetales switching in and out, frequently taking a quarter damage from each switch. Uh, going to my Mammoth Swine, I don't know why, I wanted to see if it had, like, um, I wanted to see if the thing had, like, T-Wave, I don't know why, but, um, it doesn't, sadly, and it has Toxic, which means I'm toxic Dirt. Um, I predict to switch out into his Ninetales, predicting my switch from, to Heatran, it, I, I don't even know. So he goes on to Strachion, predicting my switch as, yeah. Um, Volt Switch, critical hit, did not matter, Specs, yeah. Go to my Staraptor here, knowing that I can speed outspeed anything on his team, except the Venusaur. And at this point, I'm thinking, okay, new Staraptor set, and Sleep Fodder. Yippee. Seher, that being Sehead, uh, I'm going to have to... I stay in first turn just to see if I can get at least the first turn awake or something. Which is like, nope, alright, that's okay. Go out to my Heatran, and I'm just like, alright, uh, I can take whatever you have to dish out, because I have my Pokemon already asleep, so now you're probably going to end up switching out, because I resist Aubrey's stab, and you're going to go for the Sleep Powder again. <sighs> Noobs in their Sleep Claws. Uh, I'm not really, I don't really care that he broke Sleep Claws, because, honestly, it's a Heatran against a, a Venusaur. I can sit down, I can sit down on this thing all day. Uh, except for not unless it's like plus six, because then that's gonna hurt. But even then, I mean, like you're gonna see here, plus six that does over half, which is still like your plus six. You should be doing more, but no. Uh, Lava plume, easy Oko here. Uh, that, I think that's that was what three turns of sleep, so uh, there was no chance that he could take me out. Um, Chancy, I'm like, Ugh. let's get some damage off. Let's see what I can do to it. Sun boosted uh, lava plume critical hit does shit. Uh, now critical, and then here I'm gonna go for another one. Get the burn. It's nice, but at the same time he has natural cure. He's just gonna switch out and get it all back. So it's not all back, and just get it uh, cured off. So it's not gonna make a huge difference. But um, here I'm just gonna go out into my Toronto just to scout or uh, what's he gonna go for. He's gonna go out into his uh, Gengar here, and at this point I'm thinking, great, I can T wave it. Nope, it has substitute. I'm thinking to myself, Wow, Raven, that was pretty fucking retarded. Uh, Focus Blast here, he misses, and I'm like, oh, sweet. He doesn't have light. He doesn't have leftovers. So I'm thinking, okay, is it sub life orb, sub pain split life orb, blah blah blah. It's not, and because you can see right here, it's not life orbed. It's not leftovers, and you're gonna see right here, it's Thunderbolt, so it's not sub disable or sub pain split. 
I'm thinking to myself, what the hell am I battling? Uh, I'm going to break the sub here. Easy. And I'm just going to take advantage of uh, his stupidity and go out into my Jolteon, knowing that he's probably going to hit me with another Thunderbolt, even though Shadow Ball would probably have killed me from that range. In fact, I know it's, it would kill me from that range. Um, that being said, I'm just going to Volt Switch out, knowing that I can get a switch advantage against this Chansey. Um, I think I just end up bringing out my Feral Form. No particular reason. I know that one, if I can get some Lead Seed off on it, I can get some recovery back on some other weaker Pokemon. I can probably bring it out, like, on chant on the Vapor, bring my Vaporeon in or something. But, um, I missed the first, or he protects on the first one. I missed the second one, and he just switches out and goes into his Nine Tails. I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for a Power Whip, and I do get, I do deal with massive, uh, massive damage, a pretty good damage to this thing. Which is always, you know, welcome, even though, you know, I could just kill it from two switchings from rocks, because I do force it out again with the with the flash fire. It's really obvious. I go for the will of this pier, I miss it. Not gonna make too much of a difference. Uh, a little bit of residual damage would have been nice, but yeah. It's gonna go for a charge, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, what the fuck? Charge beam chancy. Okay, I've seen it all now. Uh, I locked myself in on Stone Edge because one, uh, Obviously, he's got a scout, so that means he can't switch out to, like, uh, Gengar to take the Earthquake, or Nine Tails to take the Icicle Shard, which it probably wouldn't take an Icicle Shard, or Ice Shard, or Icicle Crash. Um, I don't know why I go for the Ice Shard. But here, I know that Protect's coming, because obviously he's going to try to Toxic Saw me, and I'm just kind of thinking to myself, okay, I can T-Wave anything that comes in on the Switch, and then, you know, go off of that. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, so he's not going to go for the Fire Move, so I could easily go out into Vaporeon, just in case. He goes down to his Gengar, and I'm thinking to myself here, Gengar, uh, do I want to preserve a 6-0, or do I want to switch out to like my Jolteon to take like the Thunderbolt? But he predicts that switch and goes for a, or that switch or out uh, to my Mammoth Swine either to go for the Focus Blast, which is a good play on his behalf, because that because a Focus Blast would have easily KO'd my Mammoth Swine at that range of health, which would have been problematic as hell for me, because I would not be able to do any damage to his uh, Chansey. Now here, he's gonna go bring in his Nine Tails as fodder. I don't know why he did that, cause he needed a, cause he could have used that as switch fodder, switch fodder because one, all I have to do now is just burn him with Will O Wisp and then get Leech Seed on it, and then I pretty much win the battle there. But um, uh, he could have easily switched out into Nine Tails and then come back in and then just stalled from there. Um, go out to Mammoth Swine. I don't know why, just to test the waters, I guess, to go for an earthquake. Oli lag, um, almost takes him out, and then he's going to just switch back out into his... What the fuck am I saying? I'm going to switch on to my Toronto here, knowing that I can get my... Finally, get my lead seed off. Jeez, um, crow, I can't talk. Missed the first one. I'm like, god damn it. He misses the charge beam. I get this, the what's called off, and I'm like, yay, justification. And that is pretty much going to be it, because here I'm going to go out to my Mammoth Swine. He's going to start soft boiling up, and I'm just going to smack it in the face with a freaking choice banded earthquake get the fuck out of here he does live it goes for the charge beam knowing that the game's over and he's just pretty much fodders this thing out there and that is going to be good game um so that being said um i guess nothing else meant to be mentioned again congratulations to uh chris for making it as a new director for the channel i leave a link to his channel in the description uh, as well as a link to mine, be sure to look, check that out. Uh, if you're interested, I'm doing a Let's Play of Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm not going to be plugging myself like that, but I think that is going to be it for this video. Guys, please be sure to subscribe to the Poker Fight Club, subscribe to Chris, as well as myself. Guys, thank you for watching, and please have a nice day.